Oh, we have more people coming. Right. Uh, my name is Louise Millard, and though I was born in New Orleans in 1900, I lived for 57 years in Biloxi. I moved to Biloxi with my family when I was 18 years old. Before that, we lived in Bay St. Louis in a home that had a veranda overlooking the beautiful Gulf. Now, my father was the owner of Millard Grocery Company in New Orleans. My mother, Julia, truly embraced the art community in Biloxi, and I followed her example. I studied art in Paris and New Orleans. Is that echoing, or is that just me? Okay, I'm glad you can hear. Um, so, I had a career in teaching. I taught in both the Biloxi Public Schools and the Catholic Schools, although I'm best known for my art and my performances in the community. I am what you might call a jack of all trades, or to be more appropriate, a Jacqueline of all trades. <laughs> I used my artistic skills in a variety of venues throughout the community. I designed parade floats, I made play backdrops, I did all kinds of things, and I had a gallery or a studio in my home in, on Benaki Avenue. It was there where I created handmade cards and beautiful calligraphy I wrote poetry for special occasions, and I became very well known for that. I also designed Mardi Gras floats, and in 1928, my Japanese-inspired designs reigned over those of the famous artist and Biloxi float designer since 1916, Salvador Navarro. Now, in 1931, I w not only was queen of the Masque Ball, but I was also their official decorator. The ball was very well attended, and it was written up in the Daily Herald newspaper, which is, guess what, today? <laughs> the Sun Herald, that's right. <laughs> well now, um, even, even Mr. Carl Mathis, who was a renowned architect, was in our court that evening. He's here today, and you can hear about his contributions to Biloxi. One of his buildings still standing today is the Biloxi Public Library. Now, although there are no art galleries specifically dedicated to my work, you can still find pieces of my handiwork if you look hard enough. Les Mosquets still uses my design as their official emblem. And the 1949 cover of the Sacred Heart Academy yearbook is my design. Some of your grandmothers might still have one of those in a trunk somewhere. <laughs> now, my summer of 1935 was particularly memorable. I was an instructor and an administrator for a nationally renowned art colony that we hosted right here at the White House Hotel. Well, it was very popular because it was run by New Orleans landscape and portrait artist Hans Wang. We had artists from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, all the way to San Francisco, California that summer. And Hans was right when he said, there is a wealth of material here on the coast for artists in a variety of subjects. As for me, I lived my life across artistic disciplines. I was musically talented like my mother. I would often tap dance to my mother's music when she played in local events, and I would join her at the piano. She was very involved in the music club, and I was equally as involved in the Folk Dance Society, who elected me their vice president in 1940. I was also one of the founding members of Biloxi Little Theater, along with my good friend Jane Wood Pringle. She was quite a force, and she's here today as well. I remember in the early days, I would find myself fulfilling any role that the theater needed. I would act, I would design sets, I would even direct. But I especially enjoyed acting with Zan Skelton in The Glass Menagerie. Now, on weekends, they were very busy with social events, both artistic and non. Well, my family would often host bridge nights for our friends, and I was honored to be 
the founding president of the Biloxi Pilot Club, which was a community service organization. I represented Biloxi at national conferences, and I provided the artwork for their December 1936 issue of their official magazine, The Pilot Log. Well now, this retired school teacher has one more lesson for you all. As Auntie Mame once said in a play, life is a banquet and most poor suckers are starving to death. <laughs> Take advantage of every opportunity and live life to its fullest. I am an actor, an artist, a dancer, a designer, a director, a leader, a musician, a painter, a poet, a singer, and a teacher. I say follow your heart and do what you love because you can certainly be more than one thing. Thank you for listening. Oh, thank you so much.